What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I'm here in Santa Clarita, and behind me are the ruins of the largest disaster in Los Angeles history, the St. Francis Dam disaster. This thing killed more than 400 people, and I'm just learning about it, so I want to do some research, figure out what it was, and what the story is behind it. Let's get into it. So construction of the St. Francis Dam began in March of 1925 by the L.A. Bureau of Waterworks and Supply and its chief engineer, William Mulholland. The dam was 205 feet high, 1,225 feet long, and 150 feet wide at its base. It held 12 billion gallons of water and took over two years to fill. The dam was initially scheduled to be only 175 feet high, but throughout the construction, William Mulholland kept raising the height without making substantial changes to the base, proving what would be a fatal mistake. During construction in 1927 and even early into 1928, there were leaks and cracks, but Mulholland judged these normal and ordered them to be grouted and filled. On the morning of March 12th, the dam keeper Tony Harnischfeger noticed a different leak, this time leaking a muddy color and figuring it was an erosion of the foundation, directly contacted William Mulholland, who made his way up from downtown Los Angeles to inspect the new crack. For the next two hours, Mulholland and Harnischfeger inspected the entire dam, noticed leaks and seepages, but Mulholland deemed it normal for a dam of this size and returned back to downtown Los Angeles. That same night at 11.57 p.m., without warning, 12 hours after Mulholland had expected it with his own eyes, the dam completely failed and collapsed. Within seconds, the dam was completely gone except for the center portion, which became known as the tombstone. Within five minutes, there was a 120-foot wall of water filling this entire canyon that was rushing 18 miles per hour towards the Pacific Ocean. Within 70 minutes, the entire reservoir was completely empty and the power of the water was carrying chunks of the dam, some as many as 10,000 tons down in the waves of water. For the next five hours, the torrent of water continued for 54 miles, picking up debris and human bodies before emptying into the Pacific Ocean near Ventura. There were a dozen separate investigations, including a coroner's inquest, and though Mulholland was never officially charged, he stepped down from his position as civil engineer for Los Angeles and retired ignominiously to a life of self-isolation. Now, recent investigations show that the dam was built on an ancient landslide, something they wouldn't have been able to know at the time, but it was Mulholland's recklessness that led to this loss of lives and the greatest disaster in Los Angeles history. So a plaque and a memorial still stand about 0.2 miles down the road from the site of the original St. Francis Dam location, but the memories are faint, and it's important that we remember the largest disaster in Los Angeles history, the St. Francis Dam disaster. All right, LA, it's been a minute.